Disclaimer. The information presented in this video is intended as training to help NPDES regulated entities and NPDES regulators understand additional techniques that can help wastewater treatment plant operators refine their operations and, if needed, help them bring their facilities into compliance. Invited speakers in this video are not speaking on behalf of US EPA and do not necessarily reflect US EPA positions or policy. This video is not intended, and cannot be relied upon, to create any rights, substantive or procedural, enforceable by any party in litigation with US EPA or the United States. US EPA reserves the right to act at variance with the information presented in this video at any time without public notice. Hi, my name is John Van Domelen, and I work for Ohio EPA in the Compliance Assistance Unit. Today, in cooperation with US EPA and the Indiana Department of Environmental Management, we're going to demonstrate the process control tools that will help operators to maintain compliance with their wastewater treatment plants, or if they're out of compliance, they can use these same tools to get the data to make the proper process control decisions to return their treatment plant to compliance. We devised the activated sludge process control and troubleshooting manual and flow chart to assist operators in using the tools and uh, the flow chart will provide a step-by-step -step process to check everything that can go wrong in a wastewater treatment plant and correct for it. I've worked in the uh, compliance assistance units for 21 years and I have seen so much non-compliance over the years that I've gotten pretty good at figuring out what's wrong with treatment plants and what you can do to return them to compliance. What we're going to do today is go through um, a process control and troubleshooting chart and manual and we will look at each treatment unit and then we will uh, see how well this treatment plan is actually running. What we will do is we have cheap, easy and effective process control tools that we use to diagnose uh, non-compliance. We can usually figure out in about an hour what the problem is and then we will work with the operators to get them back into compliance with using the same tools actually. What we have is a activated sludge process control manual, which for small treatment systems like this one, um, it will walk you through uh, almost any problem that will cause non-compliance at the treatment system. Now the only difference between process control and troubleshooting is with the urgency that you're doing it. Because if you're troubleshooting, you're already in non-compliance but you can use the same tools and the same flow chart to maintain compliance. So this is the flow chart. You start at the very top and it says, what is the effluent of the clarifier ammonia content? If the answer is yes, you go to the green side, you go to the right side. If the answer is no, you go to the left, which is in red. You can see that there are three main tracks. The blue tracks are the conversion issues. The yellow tracks are the separation issues. The separation issues are broken down two other tracks. The middle track is you grew the wrong kind of bacteria in the aeration tank. You grew filaments, which causes poor settling. And the uh, track on the right is if you have clarifier problems, okay? But the goal is to get to the green box, which is compliance. Now each box on the flow chart has a number, and each number corresponds to a page in the process control manual. Um, and each page will tell you the reason why you're doing this. It'll give you um, a process or a, a piece of data to collect and if it does give you a piece of data to collect if you go to the how do I page in order it tells you how to do every test 
that's in the in the manual. So it's really a very good um, manual for small treatment systems, small mechanical treatment systems.